All right, Anna. So the first thing we talked about is like two feet from the concrete, right? Mm -hmm. So, okay. Two feet from the concrete. Okay. But so why is this idiotic? Because we're doing that. Yeah. This is very different from birds, right? This is no longer, the head is no longer going this way. So the idea of two feet from the concrete means two feet from where the head is, right? So now I'm going to scoot way over here. Right? Yeah, because what happens if she falls back this way? Yeah. She's on her feet, right? Good. So let's start way back. Okay, way back. Okay, let's talk about falls first. Leaning back. Okay. Oh, shit. Down this way. Right? Uh -huh. This position is... Um, when there's a fall down this way, th there's very little that the base can do. Why? Because their hands are over here towards the feet. When you're in bird and throwing, the hands are able to protect the head this way. Mm -hmm. But your hands are on that side. They're not, they're, not, they're, they're, they're not on the side where the head is. So let's say I'm over here. I'm flying with Charlotte. I'm coming over and I'm coming on my head, right? <laughs> there's very little that your base can do to protect you. Mm -hmm. It's the more the responsibility for safety for this one will be uh, on the flyer, okay? So Charlotte, when I was falling, she grabbed on my ankles like you do in bird when you're grabbing hands. Mm -hmm. Open support, Charlotte. Try not to grab on too tight, okay. okay? So what I did here is as I'm leaning off, I'm falling. If I feel like I'm falling, I can't just let myself fall on my head like this, okay? Mm -hmm. I've got to, once I feel the feeling of falling, I've got to roll towards the mat so I'm falling back this way. I've got to feel and roll towards the mat and disperse my weight, roll with it. Okay. Um, don't allow yourself just to fall right. This is a very uh, fragile part of your body. Okay. Turn towards the mat, face, so you feel this fear like, oh shit, I'm going to fall. Um, and I get that. And your natural instinct is just to freeze, like, oh fuck, what do I do? Learn to fall so many times where it feels sec like second nature, you don't get that. Fall with grace. Yeah, there, there's a... Uh, there's that fight or flight moment when you feel like you're falling and you don't know what to do, you freeze sometimes. Mm -hmm. But the more times that you fall, the more that you'll be able to do it safely, right? Mm -hmm. So let's have you practice falling first. So when, when I talk about practice falling, this is way high. This is four feet. What do we do? We're going to go on the belly, okay? Belly so let's have up. you belly over. And I'm, I'm going to have you just lean back onto Charlotte's feet here mm -hmm. and have you practice falling from this height, right? Okay. So you're here, and you're a good fall, I know. You can take a, you can take a, a beat, yeah. You fall <laughs> a lot, right? But for new flyers, have them fly this first, and then kind of fall over from a height that's very safe, that feels comfortable for them, okay? Okay. So um, um, let's do that once, and then we'll go in the well. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No problem. Yeah. So, I mean, Ami's fallen a lot of times, so she's keen on it. So, let's go ahead I've and have you. Quite a bit too. Too? Good, good. <laughs> let's fall in a way that's safe, where you can get back up, laugh about it, and go again, right? Okay. All right. L basin. Nice. Two feet from concrete. Solid. Solid. Yay. Can you come up a little higher on my back? Like here? Yeah. Okay. Do I want to be in between your uh, in between scapula? Your shoulder blades? Yeah. Yeah. Good. So let's have you base camp moment to ensure that. Okay. Good question. Okay. Stay right there. Okay. okay. I'm here, right? Mm -hmm. She's coming over. She asked that your feet were a little higher, right? Yeah. Up here? Uh huh. She, she likes this, right? Okay. She says that feels comfortable. Uh huh. Um, so feet placement is key for this one, right? I find for me, for me personally, um, because she's bendy, she's able to do that. But I find that if I place my feet a little lower here, her torso really gets a chance to drape over my feet. Okay. Um, but Ami says that this feels more comfortable for her. So then you just so keep that in mind. Yeah, for, from your flyer, what right. feels good. Yeah, so for her, her lower back's more sensitive. So keeping it low is a little bit too much pressure. So she likes a little higher, right? So that's something you want to be mindful of when you're flying, right? Okay. Um, so, but when you do this, more weight's going to be in your hands. Okay. Because it's it's uh, your legs are more at a V shape, right? Okay. It's not like a, at an L shape. Yeah, right. So there's going to be a lot of weight in your hands here. 
Okay. But just keep them locked down. And we want to keep, we, we don't want our hands out this way. We want to keep them stacked. Well, yes and no. Stacked okay. helps the balance, but then when you stack your arms, your legs are way over this way. Right. So you want to create a little you, bit of a, a V little shape. Pull? Yeah. Okay. You can, you can bring your feet a little bit. Yeah. A little lower. Like that. Okay. And here? That helps a little. That's good. Remember, the falling will be left and right, okay? Be mindful of that. If there is a fall, I'm just going to row, bring your feet down, and row with it. Okay. She's a good follow. But she only knows how to do that once she practices low on the ground first. She's falling a lot of times that she knows, but a brand new flyer won't understand that row, okay? Okay. So let's practice low on the ground.